Hi guys, I hope you're all doing really well. Today is the 1st of December, which is super crazy. I can't believe we are nearly kind of at Christmas already. It only seems like Christmas. Last Christmas was like yesterday. It's gone so fast. But I've got my Christmas jumper on. I don't know if you can see. And I'm feeling very festive. And I've got a couple of little decorations up here. My Christmas tree is over there already. I've already put it up. Um, but I'm super excited because today I'm going to be talking you through my top five Christmas books of this year. Now this has been really hard to do because there have been so many Christmas books out this year and I always find it really difficult because like a lot of them are very kind of similar in themes and issues and you know they're all kind of based around the same time of year, they've got similar characters so it can be sometimes very difficult to decide on the favourites but I have decided on five of my favourites and unfortunately a lot of them I read as ebooks rather than as physical books so I'm gonna have to insert little pictures um, to show you the books I'm talking about but because I have Windows Movie Maker which is awesome I don't have any kind of better editing software um, I'm gonna have to like quickly insert a picture and then you'll come back to me talking I can't I don't know how to do it, the two at the same time so this is really low grade booktube I'm really sorry um, but without further ado I'm gonna get into it and tell you my five favorite Christmas books of the year so in at number five is Make a Christmas Wish by Julia Williams. Now I kind of, when I started reading this, I was very unsure because the protagonist is dead. Um, this woman dies just before Christmas and um, she's just found out that her husband is having an affair and she comes back as a ghost and she tries to kind of haunt the family and show that she's still there and that she still loves them and that she doesn't want her husband to be moving on so quickly um, and it's kind of gearing up to Christmas and she's got this spirit guide cat called Malachi who keeps trying to show her what Christmas would be like um, or what it's been like in the past, what it would be like if she was still alive and what it's going to look like in the future. Um, so it's kind of like an, a bit of a spin on A Christmas Carol but done in a very modern and kind of witty way because even though the main character was dead she felt very much alive, she felt very tangible, she felt like she was someone I could actually be friends with in that kind of sense. She was very much, um, like I, could, I felt a lot of sympathy for her. Um, and it, it was weird because even though she wasn't the nicest character when she was alive and she had some issues and things like that, I still really felt for her and I still felt really angry on her behalf that her kind of husband had moved on so quickly and everything. So I really enjoyed it actually. Um, definitely, definitely one of my favourite books. And I'm really sorry if you can hear pigeons tap dancing on my roof again. It's so frustrating. But yeah, um, Make a Christmas Wish is definitely, definitely one of the best Christmas books I've read this year. So definitely go and check that one out. My fourth favourite Christmas book of the year. Now this was... Um, again, quite um, a different take on a Christmas book. It wasn't m like massively happy all the time, but then it wasn't really depressing. And it is a very, I think it's no, a merry, a very merry or a merry mistletoe wedding by Judy Astley. And I really enjoy this book. I, it's actually a sequel or it's a follow on from a previous novel she wrote called um, It Must Have Been The Mistletoe, which I've never read. So I was kind of a little bit reluctant because I didn't know if I was going to enjoy this one or know much about it. But um, it didn't matter at all. I could read it as a standalone. And it tells the story of a family kind of leading up to Christmas and two of, or the daughter of the family is getting married and she wants to get married in Cornwall. But there are issues surrounding her sister and her postnatal depression and then um, her parents have kind of had affairs but now they're kind of back together and they want to move out and downsize and there's just a lot of issues that are very real and very kind of I, I guess that's they are just really real and it, it was a nice to read about it because a lot of the time a lot of Christmas books are very happy they're very jolly they're kind of like oh yeah Christmas it's a fantastic time everyone's always happy but that's not always the case there can sometimes be times when you know things have happened that have made it less happy so it was nice to read that but it was a book that ultimately had a very happy ending a book that ultimately made me feel very Christmassy so I couldn't really complain too much about that one so that is a Merry Mistletoe Wedding by Judy Astley the third book that I would recommend is Am I, am I going the wrong way? I think I said 5-4, I don't know. But anyway, the next book I recommend is called C Christmas Wishes and Mistletoe Kisses by Jenny Hale. Now this Christmas book is set in... I want to say somewhere in America, but I'm not quite sure where. It's set in America, I think. And you can see I've read too many Christmas books all merging into one. But anyway, it's set in America. And a woman is... Um, asked by her, she looks after an old woman and she's asked by this old woman to help decorate or Christmasify and redecorate her son's house for Christmas 
and she kind of goes into this massive mansion and she has to redecorate it and make it all lovely for Christmas and as she does that she kind of falls a bit in love with the son and she learns about him and her and they kind of like build up this relationship and he's very quiet and very reserved and he doesn't like to talk about his feelings but she is trying to get his feelings out of him and she has got a young son herself and they kind of all bond together and it's just a really nice festive read about kind of how Christmas brings people together and how you can kind of how like having the time to focus on friendships and relationships and family can really make a difference and it's a really lovely kind of very festive story um the way that she decorates this big house is just amazing and all these big christmas trees in the ballroom and i just wanted to be there so much so i definitely definitely recommend checking that one out the next one is one wish in manhattan by mandy baggett now this one is definitely set in America, this one is set in New York and it is all about a woman who goes to Manhattan to celebrate Christmas with her brother I want to say or her friend and she gets to Manhattan and she's also kind of on this secret mission to find the father of her daughter because she had kind of like a one night stand and she never re she never told this man that she got pregnant and so she's trying to find him again and she knows that the last time she saw him was in Manhattan so she's trying to kind of find him so that she can grant her daughter's Christmas where she's finding her dad. Um, so there's kind of two strands of the plot, there's a strand where she's trying to find the dad and then the strand where she finds um, or she, she tries to find, or she starts doing this job and it turns into something else and she starts to create this business around party planning and decorating and things like that and it's kind of these two strands of the story, trying to find her, the father of her daughter's, the father of her daughter and trying to kind of keep this business going. It's really kind of festive and Christmassy and it's really lovely and it's kind of, again it's a book that has a really happy ending but one that hasn't been so easy to get there, it's not like everything's really happy all the time so I really enjoyed that aspect of it. And then the final Christmassy book I have to recommend is um it's not actually like an, an adult christmasy book it's more of a children's christmasy book and it is a boy called christmas by matt hay now this book is just amazing it's by matt hay who's written a lot of adult books um he wrote reasons to stay alive the humans the radleys and he decided to write a children's Christmas book because he wanted to kind of inject the magic and make people believe in Christmas still and it tells a story of a young boy who actually becomes Father Christmas and it kind of tells the story of how Father Christmas came to be uh, it's really funny, very comical, there's some fantastic illustrations in it it's not um, a picture book but it's not kind of um, a teen fiction, it's kind of middle grade in it. Um, so kind of like 7 to 13 maybe but I mean I've read it and I've really enjoyed it so I'd recommend that one definitely um, and I think my favourite part about it is that it's just there's so much magic surrounding it and there's so much kind of Christmassy belief and things because I think a lot of the time people lose sight of the magic of Christmas I think it becomes very commercialised it becomes very much a case of kind of trying to buy people the best presents you can but this book just kind of reminds you about what the true meaning of Christmas is and what it's like to still be a child and believe in Father Christmas so that's a really really lovely book as well so I hope that these recommendations have come in handy and that you can go and pick up a few Christmas books there are lots and lots more Christmas books I'm going to feature on my blog over the next week no over the next month um I'm doing a Christmas countdown on my blog and I've a lot of books I've read I haven't mentioned in this video because I'm going to be doing reviews for them and I'm also going to be doing some Q&As with the authors and things so I didn't want to kind of bombard you with the same books over and over again. So these um, kind of books I've talked about now most of them won't be featured on my blog, um, some of them will be but some of them won't so yeah anyway um, check out my blog during the rest of the week and there should be some more exciting things going on there and I hope you have a very Merry Christmas and I'll see you again very soon, bye!